Hi everybody, listen, thanks very much and welcome to the session today. Um, I would just uh, like to introduce myself. I'm Deirdre O'Neill Enterprise Ireland and I'm Senior Regional Development Executive for Dublin. And today's presentation I'm going to go through quickly, obviously we've got 10 minutes and we've lots of other speakers, uh, what we can offer for startups at this early stage and some of the uh, programs that we have. And again, if there's anything we haven't addressed today that you want to inquire about, please contact us after the session. So firstly, uh, for those who do not know, I'd like to ent introduce who Enterprise Ireland is. Um, Enterprise Ireland is the government development agency who has a focus on uh, supporting industry in the internationally uh, uh, traded services and the manufacturing area who have a focus on export, um, who want to create jobs in Ireland and who want to grow revenue here and that revenue being um, export revenue. So. What do we do and what can we do for clients in this space and what's the supports out there? So the following slide is just going to show you what is actually on offer. And I'm going to talk around this slide. So typically, obviously, in every stage of development from idea to, to growth, there is a support mechanism out there. And obviously, we encourage you to, to, to look at what's out there. For those who are maybe familiar, uh, uh, one of the programs that we have with TUD is New Frontiers. And that goes in two stages. So it's phase one and phase two. Phase one um, being very much a part-time exploration phase before you actually fully commit. And phase two being uh, part of the program where you make a decision to go, well, actually, I want to run with this business and it's got different types of supports. So phase two will be more uh, full-time, six months, um, with a bit of uh, support around finance and mentoring and coaching. And we really want you to, you to embed yourself in that at that particular stage. But as you can also see, there are other agencies out there. Um, and one of our partnership agencies is the Leo, uh, the local enterprise office, so the Leos. Um, and they, again, will look at supporting uh, innovative businesses who, uh, at the early stage of development right through to growth and scale. Um, and again, support mechanisms that they have is in the area of feasibility, uh, priming grants, uh, job creation, uh, market, ex market exploration and mentoring and, and business development. So again, for those who are familiar with the, with the ent uh, enterprise um, landscape, please explore those two options. Um, and when then obviously then Enterprise Ireland are in the mix. And there's a couple of um, uh, supports that I just want to touch on at this stage uh, because it's very much would, would help with those clients in their early stage. And we are, as you can see, funding the New Frontiers programme for the ideas. And obviously our, our sister agency is doing the idea at the idea, ideation stage. We then come into play when you're looking to sort of get, you're, you're a bit further down um, and you've, you've, you've got, you're very clear what the market validation piece is. So Enterprise Ireland um, are, have a number of programmes. And one of the ones that we've partnered with the universities is around innovation vouchers. So what is an innovation voucher? An innovation voucher, is a voucher that you can actually apply to ourselves at any stage throughout the year. Um, and we've got two types of vouchers. We've got a pure 5,000 voucher that we can give you where you then use uh, to do a piece of research with a university of your choice and TU Dublin obviously have a, a contact there that you, they can talk, talk to you about. And um, look at actually sort of getting insight and knowledge from a third party who will actually take the business further. Um, when I say there was two types of innovation vouchers, there is a, a another co-funded one where you say, listen, I need a piece of week work done, but I know it's going to take a little bit longer and I want to match it uh, with my own funding. So you've got 5,000 of your own funding and we will match our 5,000. And again, you partner with the university to look at um, a whole area of uh, research. I mean, I would check out um, innovationvouchers.ie to just go through uh, the details of what uh, the program um, allows in terms of, you know, looking at product development, training, market development, also um, uh, innovation and uh, IP. So it has a it has a wide scope. But look, I, you know, my guidance around innovation vouchers is that you plan them wisely, you choose your partner wisely and you understand that 5000 is only going to get you so far. And um, so what are supports that we would have at an early stage in terms of uh, uh, exploration is we also have our own feasibility and we have other funds like um, uh, competitive start funds. So 
our own feasibility uh, is is a is a is a vouched uh, support. So what that means is that you typically would spend thirty thousand on a feasibility, and we would match around fifteen thousand of eligible expenditure. Again, that's something we can discuss uh, with yourselves. And then the other the other supports that we have is com uh, is competitive start fund. Now we've we've no more funds. Um, we had one close yesterday. Um, and we obviously look, we'll be looking at launching funds for 2022. So typically our competitive start funds is your, your, your ideation phase is done. You've got a pretty good market validation piece done and you have a fair idea in terms of your team. You might need to bring new team players on. So competitive start fund will, is 50,000 worth of funding and may help you to bring that person on or it may give you further work to be done on the validation piece in terms of your market. Um, um, when I say it's a competitive fund, we have open and call closes. So you need to watch our website for those. And they are pitched and um, we, we ask you to do a video pitch. And then we actually then you, you, you you're the best person uh, or the best uh, companies uh, win on those particular things. We take equity in that particular stage. And again, as competitive star funds is not for everybody. So again, we, we tell everyone to do your research for you uh, to, to apply and see if that's suitable for you at that stage. So how else can you become an Enterprise Ireland client? Well, the options are you get referred from Leo, the local enterprise office. They say, well, we've supported you. We want to move you on. You come through New Frontiers or you give us a shout or give us a call and we will have a conversation at one of our project assessment days. And if you normally, if you ring HPSU inquiries, they'll give you the details on those. So what will we do and what, what, what stage would you, should you call Enterprise Ireland? If you actually believe that you're ready to raise finance and you actually have a very, you're, you're, you're explored the market opportunity piece that you actually are at a point where um, you are looking to raise finance near there or near guidance on actually raising finance. And, and we have other speakers today that'll go through that as well. Um, what we mean by that in terms of you, it could be third party, it could be friends and family, it could be um, the promoters themselves have equity and finances to invest in it. Um, and what do we do with you at that stage? We obviously do the commercial assessment piece. So you need to be at a stage where you're willing to, to sort of engage with Enterprise Ireland and obviously talk to us in relation to your business and actually allow us to assess and commercially assess and sort of poke holes in what you're presenting, but also challenge you on that business. Um, and what money are we investing at that stage? Well, we're obviously looking to put equity in. Typically, we would invest around 250, but we can go as low as 100,000 or we can go as high as 350. And that's usually matched. That funding is matched. We're taking no more than 10% equity at any stage of our investments. And we want to kind of go in at the same level as uh, the other investors. So, um, so the ask there would be you allow us, you're open in terms of your business development. We, we'd speak to your other investors. We probably would speak to your clients or your market in terms of getting an understanding of where you're at in that space. Um, and obviously then we do a bit of due diligence and then we, 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 we seek uh, guidance from our internal committees to approve that, that, that particular investment. Um, and then so when you become an Enterprise Ireland client, what does that mean? So obviously we will then continue to work with you. We've got agreed KPIs, whether it's through the CSF, the Competitive Start Fund, or whether we've just done an equity investment through the HBSU Fund. Um, so then we work with you, we work with your business plan, we would give you extra support. So the extra support usually comes from the likes of the Market Research Centre. It usually comes from the likes of the Overseas Office Network and other um, capability programmes that we'd have and workshops and access to other research throughout, throughout the organisation that, that, you know, maybe partnership programmes that we have with our own universities and other funding programmes that we do. So there's many um, supports that come with being an Enterprise Ireland client. Um, I suppose what I would be saying is that, again, do your homework and, and, and do your due diligence in terms of what, what supports you should be seeking and at what stage. Because it's not necessarily, um, everyone's path is very different. I've been a long time around now working with New Frontiers and the local enterprise office to understand that um, it, everyone's journey is different and it's not the wrong or the right journey. So it could be New Frontiers, Leo, Enterprise Ireland. It could be New Frontiers, Enterprise Ireland, or it could be straight into Enterprise Ireland. So my advice for you today is, is when you're doing your homework, explore newfrontiers.ie website, look at the local enterprise website and look at Enterprise Ireland website in terms of the innovation vouchers and other programs and HBSU uh, inquiries and um, decide what's right for you at this moment. Now, if I haven't addressed 
anything there, um, please feel free to contact me after this workshop. And I rec my time is now up and I'd like to wish you all the best of luck um, in, in going forward in your business. And we hope to see you in the future. Well done. Thank you.